Welcome to the Reverberations Podcast, where we explore the human experience and the journey of self-discovery. What is good, everyone? Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Reverberations. In the last episode, we dialed into the three pillars of embodied integration, passion, purpose, and presence and how important they are in optimizing our human experience for living on purpose, being fully alive. One of the key components that often gets dismissed by society in supporting that, having that aliveness come to life, is play. There's this notion that we have to grow up, which means that it's time to get serious, and that play is unproductive and something left for children. And as we get older, we leave very little time for play. Our jobs, our family, our to-do list. We experience what I call a conveyor belt syndrome. We live our life like an assembly line, assembling parts outside of us to create this version of our life, a degree, a job, a raise, a marriage, home, family, rinse, repeat, retire, maybe. Between childhood and adulting, we've dropped the art of play and what it offers us, rejuvenation, relaxation, stimulation. We get out of our head. We let go. We experience meditation in action. So let's take a deeper look at how play can assist us with embracing the fire within. Our heartfelt desire, our soul's yes. The most intimate and expansive vision that we know to be true within. The benefits of our physical well-being. The joy factor, laughter, relieving stress. The activation of our learning centers, social interaction and building community, the increase of our efficiency and productivity, and then giving ourselves a break. These are opportunities for us to optimize our human experience, to empower ourselves from the inside out with passion. There's a sensuality, there's a deeper intimacy. We are more desirable. We are more magnetic. Our passion exudes, permeates, and pervades as it radiates from who we are. It allows us to deepen in. It opens up spaces of of trust, helping us lower our guard and connect with others to forge more potent relationships with the opportunity to excavate emotional wounds and have a cathartic release and have now healthy relationships be supported with new pattern thought and behavior of where opportunities for empathy, for compassion to be experienced and fear to be dissipated. For when we engage in play, our innate desire to belong is satisfied. That passion has a playground for us to be ourself, our whole self, Isn't that what our purpose is? To be our self, our authentic self. And when we play, there is this clarity. Our mind is freed up. We are so in the moment, devoted to the moment, committed to the moment, fully trusting in the moment. We belong with the moment. We are the moment. And in that beingness, to support us with our purpose. For those of us that are like, what's my purpose? What am I here for? What is fully available for us as we get out of our mind and we embody our purpose. We embody the energetic of what life is about experiencing here now as you, as the full expression of who you are, fully alive. We tap into our creative potential. We experience the joy, the fun. We get out of our mind and we access the energetic expression of our personal frequency, our natural vibrancy. One of the alchemical outcomes of play is improved brain functionality, of where it assists with reducing the possibility of experiencing memory problems. It activates our learning centers, increases brain functionality, stimulates our imagination, our innovation, our creative thought processes. We don't even need to have play be in action. Our mind state 
to be a playful nature, to open us and loosen us up so that we're no longer attached to pattern thoughts and behaviors of what was, what used to be, of what held us back. We now open to the potential of what is available for us. And as Dr. Stuart Brown of National Institute for Play says, play is something done for its own sake. It's voluntary. It's pleasurable. It offers a sense of engagement. It takes you out of time. And the act itself is more important than the outcome. How powerful is that? The act itself is more important than the outcome. When we're in the flow state and we're in the zone, our mind takes a backseat and we are engaged, fully resourced in the moment. And here's another quote from Dr. Brown. What you begin to see when there's major play deprivation in an otherwise competent adult is that they're not much fun to be around. You begin to see that the perseverance and joy in work is lessened and that life is much more laborious. Where's the passion? Where's the purpose? Where is our presence, our vitality, our youthfulness, our personal power, our confidence, our self-worth, our desirability? Play is at the very core of embracing the fire within activating that fire, expressing that fire, remembering who we are at the very core. For me, I absolutely love music. I love to DJ, I love to produce. And one of the things that I judged myself as I got older was being an MC. I didn't release anything that I was rapping over for a long time. Why would I want anybody to associate that with my speaking, my wellness, or my coaching practice? I wasn't mature. I wasn't professional. I wasn't trusted because I was still living out my childhood dream and fantasy. The reality is, is that activates my creative expression. It's where my ideas come forward through poetic expression. Why would I hold that back? Allowing myself to play is medicine for my mind, my body, and my soul's yes. It solidifies the embodiment of my purpose. My fire burns brighter and brighter and brighter with every opportunity that I give myself permission to play. The spirit of play, the essence of play, the mindset of play, the freedom of play, the empowerment of play. So how can you add play to your life? What does that look like? What does it feel like to you? There are so many options for play to come forward with our body. It could be yoga or hiking, sexual expression of playing with our partner. Or imaginative play, telling stories, free writing, acting, letting our mind be free. Or it could be building something, a hobby of where we build model airplanes or puzzles. It could be going to a comedy show. It could be going out dancing, giving ourselves the opportunity to live life. And one of the things that play really supports as the foundation of the Better Together motto is that when we surround ourselves with other people that are playful, it also supports us in amplifying our own degree of playfulness. And as Dr. Bowen White says, Play is so deeply ingrained in terms of our own evolutionary drive to survive. Play helps us connect with other people because we are open in a way that allows them to feel maybe this is a safe person to be with and maybe even fun to be around. And I'll leave with this quote of George Bernard Shaw. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. I love you all. Have yourself an amazing day. And remember, we are better together. What do we do? What road do I take? Where are we going? Where are we headed? Everywhere. Uh, yeah. 2022. 20, uh.
Some say the road less traveled is the path I should have taken. One is I've ever traveled in the shoes of the forsaken. Place my hands in prayer, pull my mind on my head, and remember 1974, 27th of November. Where do I go? What do I do? Who am I? Who are you? Where'd you go? What I do? Sorry, I love you. Long story short, save the drama for the stage. Flip the script, free the mind, let's dance and stargaze. Visions of the future remain present in my psyche. All my life dreaming about what I might be Creatively I approach Swinging for the fence is still present in the moment Now I'm diving to the photo that's been open Matching actions to the words that were spoken Cause they soaked and embody Spiritually sound in my mind and my body My life is my hobby and I'm a disc jockey Yeah Walking through the pathways. Ah. Uh, yeah. My heart beats. They say it's a rite of passage to suffer for anointment. It's got me in the fields, cross eyed and double jointed. Read my words, place my hands on my heart, and I remember 2021, 31st of December. Present in the moment, here I am in the flesh on the crest that I'm blessed with every breath to be a guest. Infinite and eternal, expanded to the space, drop the mic, sit in silence. Spirits are not a resonant collective soul, let go of what I might be so I can be whole and receive the blessings that were mentioned in the lesson passed down from the heavens by the one they behold. As a speaker of the truth, his stories were told. Line of patterns in the message, cracking codes and code one lesson better together as we step into our power and ascension. UBS 365, love amplified 1111.